Chase Deuce here from JTA Innovations back with another video. Our previous video covered the kit contents of a JTA Innovations airframe and as promised we're back again focusing on the flat carbon installation. Uh, I went ahead and glued up a couple things uh, to get started. Altogether that took about half hour to 45 minutes for the glue to, to cure and even while it's curing you can do this flat carbon so it's not like I had to wait it's just something I decided to do and now that we're ready to go I'm going to remove the weights here and my first step is going to be to take a exacto blade a hobby knife and I'm going to go through and there's going to be a couple of uh, notches throughout these cutouts for the flat carbon uh, that come that way to help keep everything organized with the packaging. Should be ready to go to install the flat carbon and if we go along and we see where anything needs to be freshened up within the slices then we can do that along the way real quick but we're going to insert our first piece I'm going to do the leading edge of the wing here Not using a bunch of CA also helps keep the paint well intact. Uh, the more CA you use, the, the more it'll seep out and it's easier to come in contact with your fingers and then when you go to touch other spots of the paint, that's when it starts chipping off. Got the two main pieces of flat carbon for the wings and the fuselage installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the ailerons. We've got three total pieces on each aileron. Uh, one is full length and the other one is pre-cut so that the other one can go right in between the two.
All right, so after I last talked about doing the aileron pieces, uh, I just went ahead and did the elevator and horizontal stab without even thinking about it. So got the remaining flat carbon pieces installed and uh, I went and glued the cowl back on with uh, our provided building adhesive. Works a little better for uh, foam contact than a CA, but the CA works perfect for the flat carbon. So hopefully that answers a lot of questions. Um, one last thing I'd like to point out is now that we have a rigid flat surface, um, the next step would be to, before we glue the uh, bottom piece on of the fuse, last step would be to go around every control surface and fully flex them and put some weights on top here. I'm going to do that with the rudder, but uh, once you feel like the glue is all cured and set up, you want to do it with every surface before you continue on with the assembly. Uh, this is the best time to do it. Um, probably about an hour, two hours, is, if that is all you need uh, to break in the hinges and it just allows for easy flexibility when it's flying. So this is the best time to do it. Since all the flat carbon is installed, it's really rigid, so I highly recommend that. So once again, I hope this answers a lot of questions regarding the flat carbon fiber assembly. Um, overall, it's fairly straightforward and simple, especially once you've got all your lengths determined. Uh, just a little bit of CA goes a long ways, and uh, just make sure that everything is fully in contact with uh, with little gaps in between and uh, you should be good to go so uh, you know if you have any further questions feel free to reach out jta innovations at gmail.com or use the contact form on the website and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get back with some more videos in the future and also if you have any ideas on a video you can include that in an email and uh, stay tuned so thanks once again and hopefully this helps out